this video I'll be showing a range test I did with my own custom Vesk based one wheel build as part of a series of range tests and an effort to look at how it performed in comparison to two other boards I tested at the same time. And so three consecutive range tests were done. This one for my own custom Vesk build, one for the one wheel GTS series and one for the float wheel ADV Pro. The GTS and Float Wheel ADV Pro range tests were published prior to this video, and this is the last in the series. Reviews and build video to follow. I did my best to place these tests as close together as possible with the closest ambient temperature in order to make these as comparable as possible. So while these mileage figures may not be what someone else gets, they are at least as accurate a comparison as I could get in these circumstances. Some riders may get more mileage, and that's good, but what these tests may highlight is the relative range that these setups may get when compared side by side. Some details on this board would probably be useful. It's built on an XR style frame, obviously, using WTF varial rails and a super flux motor. The battery is a 20S2P split pack with 36 cells in the rear torque box and four more cells in the front box. I have been testing this kind of configuration since August and have learned a decent amount about split packs from both my bench test models and this one in the board. Some things are good and some things are not that good. Anyway, the details are as follows. Battery was of course charged to full, which is an hour left on the charger after a green light and full battery confirmed in the app. Tire pressure was set to 14 PSI as it has been for all the other range tests. Rider weight with gear is 195 pounds or 88.5 kilos. Ambient temperature was about 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 12.7 Celsius. Riding speed was a constant 20 miles per hour, give or take one mile per hour or about 32 kilometers per hour. The relive recording averages out stops into the top speed of which there were a few to start and stop the drone. So you'll just have to take my word for it again. There was, yet again, a moderate crosswind almost the entire ride, sometimes shifting into a headwind in both directions, due to the route being not just right off the water, but between the waters. Most of the route was flat, with some slight inclines and declines due to the bridges. On this ride, I was able to ride 26.5 miles, or 42.6 kilometers, before the board went into low voltage tilt back and made me stop riding. It was at that point that I consider the range test complete. Now, the battery in this build, as mentioned, is a 20S2P configuration, which is 20 cells in series with two cells in parallel. It's rated at 748 watt hours for context. As usual, rider weight, ambient temperature, and ride style will affect energy consumption and therefore range. Anyway, this wraps up the series of range tests, and there are reviews and build highlights to follow, so make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.